For math today, first graders, you're going to need your whiteboard with a marker for your whiteboard to write on it. You're going to need your new grade one. It says module four on the front. This is going to be a new math journal that should be in your supply bag that you recently received. So make sure you have the module four math journal. Okay, and also there are actually two math journals that say module four, so you want to make sure you have the one that says A, B, and C on the front. Okay, so you have two that say module four on the front, but you need to find the one that says topics A, B, and C. Okay, once you have that, you can write your name on it. Okay, it's ready to go. And I also need a pencil for that, but I'm going to set these two things aside for right now. The other thing that you will need are your four sticks of linking cubes that you got at the beginning of the year. Okay, we have mostly just been using two up until this point, but now we're going to start using some more. So you need all four today. You have to maybe go dig those out of your supply bag. Good luck. Go ahead and grab that stuff, pause it, and push play again when you're ready. All right, let's get started with our I can statement today. What we want to be able to do by the end of today is I can count using tens and ones. Now, these two words, tens and ones, may not sound super familiar to you. But as we practice more and more, that is going to be two words that you hear all of the time in math. Okay? I can count using tens and ones. Okay? We're also going to be using some number bonds today, which is why you needed your dry erase marker. So, let's go ahead and get started. Here's what I would like you to do. Why don't we get one of our cube sticks and I want you to figure out how many cubes there are in your stick and I'm using all my sticks are in the same color with each other so that I don't get confused okay so let's count and see how many cubes we have in a stick here's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so I have 10 cubes here, and you should too. Let's put them in an organized manner. That would be way easier to count without having to count every single one with our finger. Look at that. This is like a what? Kind of looks like a 10 frame or those rows of five that we use when we draw math pictures. Okay, so if we see two rows of five, we know super quick that there are how many? 10. Good. I'm going to take a new color and I want you to lay out, let's say, three more of another color. Okay? Three more of another color. Now, how many cubes do we have on our board? Hmm. Well, we had 10 here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13. All right, so we have 13. Let's start a number bond. We have 13, and we're going to split 13 up into two parts. How might we split 13 up into two parts? Hmm. Well, we have some orange and some blue, right? Or you have, you probably have different colors. Okay, but we have some orange and some blue. How many orange cubes do we have? 10, right? And how many blue cubes do we have? Three. 10 and three make 13. Hopefully that's just a review for you because we've practiced that this year, okay? Now, there's an easier way when we have 10 of something, there's an easier way to keep that all together, whoop, 
in our mind, go ahead and put all of your one color that you have 10 of into back into a stick. and lay it in front of you. Okay. What we've done now is we've taken 10 single cubes like this that were laying all by themselves and we've put them into this one chunk, we'll call it right now. It's a chunk. I can pick them all up at the same time. They're going to stick together as long as I don't pull them, the, them apart. And we call this 110. Can you say that? 110. 10. Now we were counting by ones. Remember when they were all split up to get apart? We counted our finger, counted them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We counted by ones. Now we can start counting by tens when we have these groups. Okay? A group of 10 ones is called 110. Okay? So if I have this group, I don't need to count them all necessarily because I have already done that and I know there are 10. So I'm just going to call this 10. Can you do that with me? 10. Now, in order to count the rest, these are still separated. So these we will count by 1. Let's try it. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, and again, we still have 13 cubes, right? And we have 10 here and 1, 2, 3 more. We call this chunk that we made a 10, and we call these single ones that are still separated, we call them ones. Okay? Let's try something else. Let's say we take another different stick, a different color, and we threw it in here with that. Wow! Now I see two sticks. Do you? Now I see two sticks. If I see two sticks, let me show you what I call this. There are two tens. One, two. Okay? How many does that make? If I have two tens and I can count by ten, let's figure out how many. Ten. 20. Ah, so two tens equals 20. And I still have my blue that are all separated. We call those ones. How many ones do we have separated here? Three ones. Okay, if we count three ones, we're counting by one. One, two, Three, so that means I have three. Let's make a number bond to show. So I'm going to start now with my parts. We just talked about our tens. Okay, we had two tens, which is a value of 20. And we had how many ones? Three. Hmm. Now let's count to figure out how many all together. Starting with our tens. Ten, twenty, now count by one. 21, 22, 23. Our whole number is 23. Notice we had two tens and three ones. Look at the number 23. Two tens and three ones. It's amazing, right? It shows right there in that number. Nice job working with me and working with those cubes. Remember, these are tools that we are using to learn. So, since we are done with them now for Today, you can go ahead and put them back off to the side. We're going to continue practicing some of these groups of 10 and making number bonds to show how many. Grab your workbook now, and we're going to open right here to the first page. On this first page, together, we are going to do numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to hold this back so I can... There we go. All right, let's read our directions. Circle groups of 10. Oh, we're circling groups of what? 
Groups of 10. Okay. Write the number to show the total amount of objects. All right, let's try it out. I see a whole bunch of rows of five. Ooh, that's easy to find 10 when we have rows of five, right? So two rows of five make 10. I'm going to circle two rows of five. There's some more, and oh, two more. I can circle those ones too. If there aren't 10, I can't circle them. All right, so since we circled these groups, we're gonna call these tens now. Let's count by 10. 10, 20, 30. Good. How do we write the number 30? Three and a zero. Nice job. 30 is the same as one, two, three groups of 10. Let's take a peek at number two. We have some carrots. First, we need to circle groups of 10. Let's try. I see group of five, group of five there. I'll circle those ones. One, two, three, four. Oh, can't circle those. Those aren't a group of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we can circle these. There's 10. Now, can't circle those. Those are by themselves. Those are like those blue cubes that couldn't get put together because they didn't have 10 yet. So let's start by counting with our tens. 10, 20, now we switch to ones. 21, 22, 23, 24. There are 24 carrots. Two groups of 10 and four ones, 24. Okay, why don't you try a couple on your own? Let's try number three and four. Start with number three. I'm gonna give you a minute, or you can pause for as long as you need to finish number three to go ahead and do that. Circle your groups of 10 and count how many apples. Remember, if there are extra, you can't circle them. You can only circle 10. Right, we see groups of five apples here, so I'm gonna circle. It does not matter if you circled maybe two on top of each other or two on the side of each other like I am. I see two groups of five here, so I can circle those. Now I see a group of five, but only one, two, three, four. I cannot circle that, okay? I can only circle 10. I don't have 10 here. So let's count by tens first. 10, 20, now we switch to ones. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Two tens, nine ones. See how we have two groups of 10 we circled? When we circle them, it's like when we took those cubes and we stuck them all together because they were 10. They became one ten. All right, number four, same thing. Go ahead and get it done. All right, I see two groups of five there, so that's 10. There's 10 more, and here's 10 more, and I have some left over there at the bottom. Count by tens with me first. 10, 20, 30, switch to ones now. 31, 32, 33, 34. There are three groups of 10, and four peanuts by themselves. Three tens, four ones makes 34. Awesome. Now, these rests that are on this page, if you would love to do them as practice, you're more than welcome to. You can go back to them. However, right now, I'd like you to turn the page with me to the second page, where it still says lesson one problem set, and you see grapes and carrots. 
And now we're going to practice some of those number bonds. All right. It says make a number bond to show tens and ones. Okay? Part of the first one is done for us. Number nine. We have a bunch of grapes and a bunch of grapes and then some grapes that fell off. Okay? Let's see how many grapes are in a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! There are ten grapes in a bunch. So if you'd like, if it helps your brain, you can circle those. So you know you have 10, 20. Ah, look what they already put here for us. Now let's see what our ones are. What's left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If we have 20 and 7, 10, 20. What, how many do we have all together? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 2 and a 7 makes 27. All right, let's try a couple more. We have bunches of carrots. Now let me give you a, a hint. If you ever see bunches kind of already made up for you in pictures, there's most likely 10 in there. Okay, so we see bunches of carrots. Each of these bundles has 10 carrots. We see these apples, each of these apple crates have 10 apples in them. And same thing with the bags of peanuts. Okay, so you don't always have to use up your time counting every single one of those carrots. That'd be really tricky to do. So I'm just going to give you that heads up. So we have 10, let's count, 20, 30, right, 31, 32, 33 carrots. That goes in our whole number. Okay. Now you go back and look. How many groups of 10 did we have? One, two, three groups of 10. How many is that, three groups of 10? 10, 20, we had 30, okay. And how many all separately? How many ones? One, two, and three. So 30 and three make 33. Great job. Try number 11. Finish that number bond on your own. Then you can check your work with mine in a moment. All right, you should have gotten 10, 20, 29 apples as your total. I have 10, 20, so two tens is 20. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones, nine extra apples. Awesome, awesome. <coughs> And last but not least, what about our peanuts? We have some bags of peanuts here. Since, remember Mrs. Gare said, those are 10 peanuts in each bag, so it doesn't look like we have any ones, do we? Hmm, so many peanuts are there? Count by tens with me. 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 is a four and a zero. Now, with tens, we had one, two, three, four bags, so four tens is the same as 40. Did we have any ones, any um, peanuts that were by themselves? Nope, so we put zero. 40 and zero makes zero. Okay, again, the rest of this page, if you'd like some extra, extra practice, you absolutely can do that. If you're ready for your exit ticket, I will put the exit ticket on Seesaw, or you may do your exit ticket in your workbook and take a photo of it when you're finished. 
Make sure in your photo your numbers are neat and your photo is close up enough so your teacher can see those numbers. All right, on your exit ticket, your job is to do the same thing we've been practicing. It says complete the number bonds. So you need to show how many tens, how many ones in your number bond, and the whole number at the top. Just like Mrs. Garris said on the last page, if you see these bundles, see the bowls of strawberry or the bundles of straws or the boxes of crayons, those all have 10 in them each. Okay, so you don't need to you don't need to spend your time counting all those teeny tiny straws. That might hurt your eyeballs. Okay? Keep that in mind. Go ahead and you can do your exit ticket right here in your in your math journal, then take a picture or you can finish it on seesaw. Great job working with me.